We have countless Acorn Internet Services customers that are successful and happy. Their stories can all be seen on our blog at blog.acorn-is.com slash search slash label slash kudos. But it's a rare occasion when we have one that is willing to share their return on investment details with us as an encouragement to other innkeepers that might be hesitant or unsure about embracing the new internet marketing techniques such as social media, video, and blogging, to name a few. So, with our innkeeper's permission, we share with you one innkeeper's case study. What if you could value your time? Would it be worth $25 an hour, $50 an hour, $100 an hour, or even more? Let's look at one case study and see this innkeeper's time value. About our innkeeper, He's a 50-something, he's a one-man band plus a housekeeper, and he was not an innkeeper who was always wanting to own an inn. He purchased his business 30 days after looking at his first B&B. He had never stayed at an inn before, and he is not an internet guru or a retired programmer. He purchased his property in 2005. A little bit about his inn. He's located in Palmyra, PA. That is a suburb near Hershey, Pennsylvania. He has six guest rooms and two suites. And his ambiance is elegant country. Now, a little bit about his business. He, his website wasn't in the top 10 pages of Google Organic for the top search phrase Hershey, PA bed and breakfast when he bought his property. He rebuilt the website when he purchased his inn in 2005 and he climbed to page one of Google Organic during that first year. And he's remained there for the past five years. In regards to his business revenue increases, he opened originally in 2005 with six rooms. And let's say he made X dollars in 2005. Then in 2006, he had a 97% increase over the year he bought his inn. He created a new website that first year with great search engine optimization so he could be found for free in the search engines. He freshened his homepage often. We recommended once a week and he did it more like once or twice a week. So he was freshening that page very often. He also was able to, with all of these changes, achieve page one organic placement for his best search phrases. Then moving into his 2007 year, he had an 18% increase over his 2006 year. At that point, he added two cottages at the end of 2007. And in 2008, he had a 45% increase over 2007. In 2009, he had a 9% increase over 08. That was at the time where the economy um, was not doing as well as it had in previous years. So in 2009, he stepped back and said, let's update our website. Let's make it fresh again. So we updated his website, and we also updated his search engine optimization in September of 2009. He, at this time, embraced blogging. So we created a blog for him. He set up social media, had never done that before in the past. He had never used videos on his website, so he had videos done and he loaded those to YouTube. And he began doing quarterly newsletters, something again he had not done in the past. Those quarterly newsletters encouraged his guests to follow him on his social media and to read his blog. So he was networking with all of his um, past guests to make sure that they were following him on his new social media or reading his blog. And with these changes that he invoked at the end of 2009 and continued to keep up with through 2010, he's anticipating an approximate 17% increase over his 2009 numbers. And if you do the math from the beginning, from when he purchased his inn in 2005, he's had a 336% increase from when he bought the inn. A few other tidbits about our innkeeper. He hasn't increased his room rates in multiple years. In 2009 and previous years, he had little or no vacation. But in 2010, at the 17% increase mark, he took eight weeks off.
Seven of those weeks the inn was completely closed, but he still was taking reservations via phone and the internet, and he had one week where he was able to hire an insider to run one of those um, weeks that he had taken off. So he had literally taken two months off in 2010 with a 17% increase. And we also looked at his full house nights. In 2009, he had 29 full house nights. In 2010, he almost tripled it at 76 full house nights. Now, how did he do this? Well, we figured out his approximate work hours on his internet marketing per year. 52 hours in the last year he's attended Acorn Internet Services classes weekly to learn how he can better his internet marketing. He, he spent approximately 55 hours a year, about an hour a week, give or take, and he watched his placement, and he kept an eye on his reputation management and other ideas for blogging and Facebooking and tweeting through his Google Alerts, and he did that daily. It added up to about 55 hours for the year. He wrote blog posts two to three times a week. Those blog posts took about 40 hours for the whole year, took about 10 to 15 minutes per blog post. On Facebook and Twitter, again, about 55 hours for the whole year he spent on Facebook and Twitter. His blogs automatically fed to Facebook and Twitter, so all he had to do was keep up the conversation and see if anybody had posted anything he needed to um, answer. So Facebook and Twitter, again, 55 hours a year. It's about an, an hour or so a week, give or take, um, just 10 or so minutes a day. Then he kept his homepage fresh with local events. That took about 12 hours a year, about an hour a month, about 15 minutes a week. And he creates new Google Maps monthly. Maps may be dealing with restaurants or activities in the area. And he does about one a month, takes about 12 hours a year. And on to his newsletters. He sends a newsletter quarterly. Takes him about an hour a quarter to get his newsletters written and ready to go. And finally, he reviews his traffic stats and his booking statistics monthly. It takes about an hour a month and takes a look at his traffic and how is he doing? Is he driving more visitors? Is he driving more bookings? Now if you tally all of that up, you come up with approximately 242 hours a year that he spent on his internet marketing. If you break that down, it's about 20 hours a month and it's about 5 hours a week which literally comes down to the hour a day, weekdays, five days a week, to work on your internet marketing. Now, what was that formula again? The seven building blocks for success follows, you need a website that sells. The asterisk indicates that our innkeeper had his website rebuilt and it's now selling for him. You need a website with integrated search engine optimization, SEO. Our innkeeper's website has great SEO. He's found on the page one for most all his search phrases. Local map place page power. Those are the Google Maps that are seen above the organic listings. And his local map, because he's not in Hershey, PA, he's in a suburb, Palmyra, he doesn't show up on the Hershey map, but he is the immediate next in as the concentric circles go out for Hershey PA. So he is the third one in, list, in listings of the maps. Uh, the first two are actually in Hershey. Popularity, inbound links, citations, and mentions. Our innkeeper has popularity built over the last five years, so this year he didn't concentrate on those things. But that is one of the seven building blocks for success. Social media, our innkeeper absolutely embraced social media this past year and newsletters. He also embraced doing newsletters, making sure that he stayed in touch with his guests. Finally, media and the press. This is something we do recommend, but it is something that this particular innkeeper did not embrace in 2010, but may in future years. So out of the seven building blocks for success that we know help innkeepers actually make more bookings, get more traffic, and get more visibility online, this is what built 
the amount of increase, the 17% increase for his website this year and for his business. Now, what do you think this innkeeper's hourly time value will ultimately be for 2010? If you calculate up all of the time that he spent working on his internet presence this year, his internet marketing, it comes down to about an hour a day, five days a week. So the hourly time value for 2010 for this innkeeper is going to be approximately $125 an hour that his time was worth based on that 17% increase just for an hour of web marketing work a day. Now this is not to mention all of the added value continuing into the future for the things that he is doing for this internet presence. He added over 100 blog posts this year. Now they're going to all be archived in Google online. They add page count to his website and now he can be found 100 places he didn't used to be found in the past because he has 100 individual blog posts he added this year. He's added new friends and fans that pass his information on to their friends and fans and so on and so on into the future so he is building a fan base. He has increased his permanent branding in the search engines by having his, his blog pages and his web pages out in the search engine. People see a, the in, they know who he is, and he's branding himself online. He's acquiring age in the search engines. The longer his web address is online, the more age he inherits. He's increased his visibility and his credibility, his synergy by promoting local attractions and events. People get to know him. They may not be staying with him immediately. They might pick some time in the future to stay with him. They may reference him to a friend. He is just creating the synergy with his local attractions and events postings. And he has ongoing conversations in social media so he can continue to build his relationships with his existing guests for his, repeated in his increased repeated business. And as you know, it's always less expensive to market to a past guest than to go out and try to get a new one. And he has become a social media guru, which allows him financial independence. He doesn't have to pay anybody to do the social media for him. Now he has more money to spend on making more money. So the recap is, think back to the first week you ran your inn. Everything you had to do was new, and it felt unmanageable. You had breakfasts to cook and laundry to do and cleaning of rooms to do. You had to manage your credit cards, uh, your new credit card machine, and you had to learn your reservation systems. You were doing check-ins and check-outs. You were trying to be the best post host possible. Now, how much easier was it once you finally learned how to do each of these things efficiently? Marketing your business is really no different. You can learn it and you can do it yourself. Those are our DIYers. They do it themselves. This innkeeper was a DIYer. Or you can choose to hire staff and have them learn it and do it for you. Or you may decide to hire an outside firm to do it for you. Obviously, do it, do it yourselfers. When you do it yourself, you're saving the money you'd have to pay somebody else to do it. And then there are other innkeepers who say, that's OK. I can hire an outside firm to do it for me. So, you need to choose an expert and you've got to get going. Acorn University is providing education, experience, and knowledge to grow your business. We offer weekly webinar classes. Those are the classes that this innkeeper was taking every week. So, if you want to learn more about Acorn University, you can watch our video on our YouTube channel. Our YouTube channel is as follows. It's youtube.com slash user slash Acorn Internet. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Acorn Internet. You can become a fan on Facebook and like us at acorn-is.com slash Facebook. You can read our blog and get our blog updates automatically. You may key in your email address in the right-hand column on our blog and you will automatically be emailed our blog updates. And finally, you may attend our industry webinars at acorn-is.com slash webinar. Finally, many thanks to Will McQueen, 
the owner and innkeeper of 1825 Inn Bed and Breakfast for sharing this information. We hope it's been an inspiration and an encouragement for all those who have watched this video that you too can grow your business by attending educational classes and investing an hour a day into your online internet marketing. Thank you for watching.